Tonight. So I'm going to say some words to you, and I'm going to ask you if you think they're brewing terms or right. not brewing terms. Okay. And we've got a whole blog on brewing terms. It's got maybe not hundreds, but at least tens, <laughs> dozens, many dozens. Many dozens. Okay. Of great words. All right. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Someone turned winter on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in the bush. Here we are. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. It's the amber ale. That's the last of it. There's about a litre left. Cool. It's nice. Which means I then get to keg up the, uh, the Consequences Pale Ale. And you're going to like that. Mm. I tasted it before I cold crashed it. Okay. It's nice. So this is our home brew, one of our home brews, yeah. which has actually survived more than a couple of weeks. It has, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> We've been taste testing craft beers. Mm. Mm. It's got a nice lacing on the sides. Mm. That's just the dogs. Yep. You know I know nothing about this, <laughs> don't you? Oh, some of these you'll know. <laughs> I hope you've been listening. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just drink it. I don't listen. <laughs> okay, first term. Yes. Mashing. Well, that's what I do with potatoes. Yeah, but is it a brewing term or not a brewing term? Yes, it is. It is. It is correct. a brewing term. Mashing is when you put the grain, the cracked grain, into the hot water to get all those... I knew that. All the um, sugars <laughs> out of it. <laughs> Here's one. Bung. Oh, that's what you put in your fermenting or pull out of your fermenting thing or something. It's, yeah, it's the stopper that goes in the top. Yeah, yeah. So, so that you can put an airlock in there. That's it. It's also the rubber thing you shove in the back of the boat to stop water coming in. If you've yes, ever been in a tinny. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought we were talking brewing terms. Well, so yeah. but it's, it's the same term. It's a, a rubber stopper. Okay. And it's got a hole drilled into it. Can we help you? <laughs> and it's got a hole drilled through the middle of it to let the gases out. Right. And you put an airlock in there so that Which the gases can... Which is that squiggly thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, uh, an S-bend. Yeah. And you that you have a little bit of water in. Yeah. And the gases can come out. So that answer one of my questions? But the bugs can't come in. No. <laughs> it's just extra information. It does get you extra credit. <laughs> does it? <laughs> Next one. Wart. Uh, that is the thing that you put, that's what you have before you start putting it in the fermenter. Very good. You have been listening. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Wort is the liquid before you put the yeast into it oh, to okay. turn it into alcohol. Yeah. So when you've, you've mashed your grains and you drain all of the liquid off, that liquid's called wort. Okay. Next one. Paradolia. Oh, cool. Okay. You can stop swearing at me now. <laughs> no idea. Okay. Have a guess. Brewing or not brewing? You got a 50-50 chance. I'm going to go not brewing. And you would be right. Okay. <laughs> Paradolia is where you see something that isn't there. So, for example, when you're looking at clouds and you see a fluffy duck in the clouds, that's called paradolia. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Fun fact. Fun facts. Here's one you you will know because we've been talking about it a lot the last two days. Groot. Oh, that's um beer without made without hops and it's made with um, herbs and spices. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, an interesting one. Yeah, we are going to do a Groot. We are. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> Burton Snatch. Oh dear. <laughs> no, that can't be a brewing term. Really? It is a brewing term. Oh, goodness me. It's the sulfur smell that you get off some brews. Okay. So some brews, when the, and especially mead, you get it off mead a lot. But beer, when it, it, um, 
when it brews too hot, well, sorry, when it ferments too hot, mm. uh, you get a sulfur smell from the yeast. Okay. Because the yeast are under a, a little bit of stress. Okay. Um, and that's called Burton Snatch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only why they could have made that any more offensive would have been if they called it Sulfur Minge. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. I hope, I, hope, I hope your audience has a sense of humour. <laughs> okay. Zoonosis. Is that, is that what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> oh, that's, that's snoring. Zeds. That's, zeds. <laughs> that's pulling a few zeds. No idea. Um, brewing term or not a brewing term? Mm, I will go with not a brewing term. And you're correct again. Mm -hmm. See, the 50-50 works, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> Haven't got a phone a friend yet. No. <laughs> Zoonosis is when a disease can be passed from animals to humans. Okay. Yeah, so, um, well, they're saying that COVID was a zoonosis. Okay. No. Uh, things like bird flu, swine flu, yep. that originated in animals but then moved into the human population. Right. Uh, Zoonosis. Grist. Is... That the same as grit? No. It's just the feminine side? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say that is a brewing team. It is. It is. It is. Only because it sounds like grit, so yeah. grist. Oh. Yeah. Grist is the cracked grains. Oh, okay. So you've got your grains, and when you crack them open, mm. they're a grist. Next one, loitering. <laughs> Not loitering. <laughs> loitering. <laughs> Loitering is what we do when we have too many of these. <laughs> so speak for yourself. Move, I don't move have water on. anyway. Yeah, move on water. <laughs> it's not a brewing term? It is a brewing term. Okay. Please mm. do tell. <laughs> you know I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> Loitering is when you take the liquid off the grain. So you drain it out. So depending on... on I thought that was a wart. That's what the liquid is, but the act of taking it out oh, is okay. called watering. Okay. So depending on the brewing system you've got, there may be a drain or you may pump it out or okay. whatever it is, mm -hmm. but taking it off the grain is called watering. Right. Uh, sparging. Brewing term. Correct. I don't know what it is, yeah. but I think it's a brewing term. Yeah, you've probably heard me say it a few times. I don't recall you saying it, but mm. you probably have. Yeah. So after you've lauted, you pour hot water across the top of your... Your, your grain, yeah. simply grist, and the liquid, that's called lautering. Oh, sorry, that's called sparging. Okay. So what you're trying to do there is just get any, any sugars that are still attached to the grains, still hanging around the grains, to wash out. So you're just washing all the sugars out. Why do you want to do that? To get as much alcohol out of the grain, or as much sugar out of the grain as you can to get as much alcohol into the beer as okay. you can. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So when you... When you Lauter and you take that liquid out, there's still going to be liquid left inside the grain and there's still a lot of sugar in there. Last term, Ninkasi. No, that can't be a brewing term. That's the original brewing term. It sounds like you're swearing. Ninkasi is the ancient Sumerian goddess of beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm ancient. No, you're not ancient. I'm a goddess. You're a goddess of beer. <laughs> and I love my beer. <laughs> now, that's one religion I could get behind. Yeah. If you've got a goddess of beer... Me too. That's a great religion. Right. Part yeah. one. Well, that's that's it for the video. It was just to oh, introduce okay. a few terms to people and let them know that we've got a whole page, a whole blog post mm. on brewing terms. Yeah. And it's broken up into... The chemistry of brewing, the processes, the actual brewing process itself. Right. Um, so, yeah, any time, and some of those terms, I, I highly recommend reading the first part, as, at least, which is just the terms that you use while you're turning your, your grain into magical beer. Yeah. Because that's something that's going to come up time and time again, not only in my videos. So, you have like a step by step brewing terms. Yeah, yeah. So, like, once you. Yeah, the so it starts step, off with second step, the third step. grain, grist, mashing, right. all of it goes step by step through that process. Oh, cool. 
But then after you get through that, there's another section on chemistry. Yep. And then there's, hang on, I'll pull it up. Here's one I prepared earlier. So you go through the actual brewing process. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a, a list on ingredients and different types of ingredients. Okay. And then there's the chemistry. So talking about amylases and acetaldehyde and astringency. Oh. And they're all alphabetic terms. Then it goes on to advanced processes like decoction and lagering, mm -hmm. what they are. So did you find out what the and term... And then just some general stuff like ABV. What's, what does ABV mean? Do you remember when we did the t ale testing? Yes. And pirates had a drying. I did didn't. you find what that out? No, that I out? haven't managed to find out anything about that. So I'm going to have to give the boys over at Pirate Life a, a call. And say, what do you mean by drying? Yeah. I mean, there is a process called drying the yeast, which mm. is when you're reusing your yeast and you, you wash it and then you store it. Oh, maybe that's what so they're reusing. Yeah, maybe they, they're reusing the yeast. Well, why not? That makes a lot of sense. You can get five or six generations out of yeast, five or six brews out of yeast before you have to replace it. So and it, so is that similar to like the vinegar mother? No, because vinegar mothers no, eat, mother's the, different. eat the alcohol. So, yeah, yeah. Vinegar and, and kombucha are, are different processes. Um, but what you can do is you can collect your yeast at the end of the fermentation process and reuse it. Okay. And I will do a video eventually on reusing your yeast, recycling it. Okay. So that people can see how easy it is to to get a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth brew. Does it improve as it gets? I uh, think it does each up to a point. You use it each yeah. time. Up to a point. So with my rums, when I was when I was distilling rum, mm. I got to the fifth generation, and each time you could get additional flavours into your rum, into the end product. Okay. And I, I put that down to the yeast because the ingredients going in were exactly the same. The temperatures I was. I was but you haven't tried it, it exactly with beer. So I haven't. I I have. So uh, the Mexican lager. I've reused up to four times now, okay. but I didn't get past the fourth. Sorry, dogs. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't get past the fourth time, um, and and each time I think it did improve as well. Okay. Uh, but you do get to a point where you can't reuse it, and generally they say it's the fifth time that you and use is, it. And what's the reasoning behind that? Just that you get some variations. So you know how you get Too much mutations yeah. in in an actual population. Yeah the yeast may not be producing quite as well as they were originally. Mm -hmm. And that's why, as we learned, places like Bundaberg keep uh, the a, a yeast bank. Mm, original yeast. And yeah. they send their yeast back on a regular basis over to this yeast bank so that it can be tested for <laughs> genetic variation. Down. She's missing her mummy. <laughs> this is Aya. This is my girl. She's a sook. She's a sook. But she's a puppy still, so she's a Belgian Malinois. Oh, you want up too? Come on. And this is our other puppy. Good girl. Who's also a Belgian Malinois. Good girl. So not only do we have horses, we have these beautiful beasts who are very good. But they do miss us. We've been at work all day today, so we've, they've been locked up. Um, and uh, they just want a bit of TLC and yeah. loving. <laughs> okay, down. But that's it. So down. I'll stick down. a link to this blog post yeah. in the description. That's good. I'll also put it up on screen if you just want to type it, type your type. Um, but yeah, check it out. If there's any ever anything on any uh, video that you watch, whether it's one of mine or one of any number of, of other brewing channels that are out there, have a look on here. And if it's not on here, Nice. Leave us a comment and say, hey, what does this mean? And I'll let you know, but I'll also update the blog. Mm. So that's it. Yeah. As we always ask, like, subscribe and comment because that helps the channel out. Yep. Check us out on the socials. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, irresponsibly. <laughs> no, responsibly. <laughs> true, <trouble>. true. <laughs>